my name is Ling. I am a D2 at NYU right now, and I wanted to put together a video to help um, my classmates uh, pass our next practical. And so, here's my disclaimer. I'm just a student. I'm not a professor. I'm not a professional yet. I just, these are some tips and tricks that I picked up to um, help us pass the practical. And keep in mind that this is going to be like the ideal situation. You're not going to be able to do this per se in a patient and get a perfect, you know, perfect occlusion right away, perfect everything right away, perfect margins right away. So keep in mind that this is like in a super ideal situation that you can only do in like sim lab. So um, this is just for the practical and then remember in a patient it's going to be different. You're going to have broken teeth so you can't do this. You're going to have like teeth that aren't perfect and ideal so just keep that in mind. And before we start there's a little yellow button up here somewhere, right? And I want you to go and press it and subscribe to my channel and show me some love, okay? So do that and let's get started, okay? So let's start with all of the materials we need. So trust me, okay, just pull these out. You need your composite instruments, so your composite gun, your bond, your, you know, plastic instrument, hand piece for polishing, and your composite polishing kit, okay? That's to make the beginning of the matrix. Then you're going to make your matrix, so you need a tray, you need your PVS, and your um, bird kit. Oh, don't forget your composite light. Now you also need the Bard Parker knife and um, the Miller forceps and articulating paper. And of course, you need your type it on with a brand new 21 and brand new 19. Okay? So it's really, really important that you adjust your head properly. So I'm just going to go over it real quick. So there's these two screws in the back and you want to loosen them, right? You want to loosen them up so that way your jaw just kind of really freely moves. So what you want to do is you want to hold it down and make sure it's in ma maximum intercrespation. So you're going to try rocking it left and right and rocking it front and back. If it doesn't rock, then that means it's good. So make sure you don't have any, like, your preps, or you can have your preps, but don't have any of your provisionals in there, or interims in there, because if it's too high, it'll make it rock. So you want just the teeth. So make sure there's no left-right rock and front-back rock. What you're going to do in the back with the screws is once you have it, hold it down Sometimes, if you don't have like enough strength, ask your um, lab partner to help. And then you're going to screw a little on this side, go to the next side, and screw a little, and then go back. And each time, make sure you're like kind of shaking it to make sure that it doesn't rock. And you're going to like tighten each side a little bit at a time, so that way it's not like pulling um, your type on to one side or not. Okay, tighten it up. And then when you're done, it should sit pretty still. No rocking and open up and down. No rocking, okay? So that's really, really important. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to... Okay, so let me explain. We are going to make a matrix out of the patient, out of the type it on, because it's going to give you perfect margins, perfect everything. So this is why I'm saying that you can't, most of the time, can't do this in a patient. So what I'm doing right now is I'm checking the occlusion, and remember on um, number 21, because that's what we're doing the provisional, uh, on number 21 you're supposed to have two dots, two points of occlusion. One on the very tip of the buccal cusp, and then one in the middle of the distal marginal ridge. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to check to make sure what occlusion I have. So after adjusting the, the jaw, I'm going to put this in here. I took off the face so you can see, but remember, you're supposed to have the face on, okay? And I'm going to make it occlude, okay? So I'm going to show you what I have. I have this big old smear and a dot, but I have no occlusion at all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it up with composite. I'm going to build it up first and then take my matrix so it's less work later because it's easier to work with composite than it is to work with acrylic, okay? So let's um, go to the table and build it up with composite. Okay, so now that we, I kind of rubbed off the dot because I don't want the composite to be on it, but now we're going to start building it up with composite. So remember back to my composite video, same technique, bond a little bit on the table, and let's bond where you want to put the composite. So I'm going to add on the distal marginal ridge and a little bit up the cusp tip because that's where I want the bond. Take your air syringe and kind of blow it so it's not a big thick blob. 
and let's cure it for 20 seconds. Now that that's cured, we're going to go ahead and start adding composite. So here's my composite gun. Oops. I'm going to dip just a little bit in the bond so that it doesn't stick. And I'm going to pull out some bond. I mean, sorry, composite. And we're just going to add to the ridge. And remember, when you're adding, you want it to be as anatomical as you can get it. So don't just put a big blob of composite there. Kind of shape it and make it look like the distal marginal ridge. I think I put too much, so I'm gonna take some off. So do you see how I'm making it taller because I want that point of occlusion before I make my, make my matrix. Acrylic is not that easy to work with, in my opinion, so composite is a lot easier to work with. On the side, make sure, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, make sure there's no gap, make sure there's no excess, and just make it really smooth, really pretty. Okay, so, I have a higher marginal ridge now, and it looks anatomically correct, like there's no extra bulge, there's no excess, so I'm going to cure that. So, can go back and check to make sure everything's cured, there's no extra, trip off anything that's extra, yeah. And so, what you can do now is go back into the mannequin and check to make sure you know, to see what kind of occlusion you have. So remember, when you put it back into the, the mannequin, the first thing you want to do is make sure you check side to side, see if it rocks, and back to front if it rocks. If it doesn't, then you can check occlusion. Yeah, my hand's in the way. Yeah. So just like in your crowns, if there's a point of occlusion that's not supposed to be there, take it off. Once you do that, just check it again, and then we'll see what kind of dots you have. So I kept on reducing where it shouldn't be, and then adding where I want it to be. So I finally have a dot here, but I have this whole entire like contact area that I don't want. So I'm going to continue taking this down, leaving this alone, and making sure that I have just one little point here and one little point here. So. Don't get frustrated if it's going to take you a while. It's probably going to take at least half an hour to get something perfect. But the thing is, if you get this, you're going to have less headache later because you don't have to knee on like your contact points on, okay? So keep working on it, and um, I'm going to come back when I have these two dots perfectly. Okay, so I've been working on it, and now I have the two dots exactly where I want them. So with the composite, it could be a little rough, so go ahead and take like your ow. Sorry. Go ahead, take your um, polishing cups and get your profi on it and make it kind of smooth. So when you make your matrix, your tooth isn't all rough. So I'm gonna polish it up. Um, because I was using the green cup, it's not like really abraded. It's not like really rough or anything. So I'm just gonna polish it up with the yellow cup a little bit, making sure not to touch. Don't touch the contact points that you just made. Just. Like for me, I had to take off a lot from here and then add a little here, but it really depends on your tooth and your type it on. So work with your tooth and your type it on. So polish it up. I'm gonna do a little profi on it so it's smooth and then we're gonna go ahead and um, move to making the matrix. 